How Psalm 3119 Helped Me See the Gifts of the Present by Sharla Fritz Not long ago, I experienced a day when I received three unexpected gifts. First, I attended a Bible study group near my home. Our time together was filled with deep discussions of what God was doing in our lives. Heart time like that is a gift in itself, but when I got ready to leave, the leader of the group gave me a sweet gift of a mug filled with Bath and Body Works body wash and lotion, just because. Later in the afternoon, I taught some young piano students. One of the families I regularly teach gave me a gift bag with a beautiful journal, a mug with a treble clef handle, and a butterfly bookmark. How thoughtful. Then in the evening, my small group came to my home to dig into God's word. One of the ladies brought gifts for each of us. I received a beautiful cross with these words inscribed on it. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior, in whom I find protection. See 1 Samuel 18, 2. What grace, a storage closet of blessings. All of these surprising gifts made me think of one of my favorite verses in scripture, Psalm 31, 19. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. When I read this verse, I like to picture a storage closet in heaven with my name on it, where God has all kinds of wonderful blessings stored up for me. They're all wrapped and ready, glittering gifts of God's goodness. He is simply waiting for the right time to give them to me. Sometimes God surprises me with a gift of his goodness, right out of the blue. An unexpected insurance payment that will help cover our bills, a call from a friend I haven't seen in a long time, his presence overwhelming me as I am driving in my Chevy Impala, impatience for the blessings. But truth be told, much of the time I get impatient for his gifts. Deep in my heart, I trust in his timing. I sincerely believe that he knows what he is doing by not giving me those gifts today. Yet the little toddler in my heart stamps her foot and pouts. I want them now, she demands more, insists on further blessings, calls out for extra gifts. Even though I am confident that God has many more blessings for me in this life, I am always looking for the next thing. I tend to think that if I can just get that one more possession, everything would be wonderful. If I could get noticed by someone important, I would be happy. If I could find the perfect handbag, I would be content. I know I'm not alone. As humans, we constantly search for something more. A bigger house, better job, the next vacation. And when we see the neighbor down the street, get the backyard swimming pool or the co-worker get the promotion, we wonder why God makes us wait for the things our hearts desire. That night, after realizing those unanticipated presents, I realized that I expected God to give me what I wanted when I wanted it. My discontent showed that I was demanding access to that closet of blessings. I was claiming the right to jerk that door open and grab God's gifts of goodness now. God gently whispered to my soul, I have many wonderful surprises ready for you, astonishing gifts that are better than you can imagine. Will you wait for my timing? So let's all read Psalm 3119 and thank God that he has stored up great and amazing goodness for us, things more wonderful than we can imagine. But as we wait for those gifts, let's also accept the gift God offers now, the gift of the present, Let's undo the bow, unwrap the paper, open the box, and see the goodness he has placed in our lives now, big and small.